Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and guys today I'm going to show you how to manipulate the sound volume using the slider component that comes along with flash. So let's start uh, guys I'm working with Adobe Flash Professional CS 5.5 I'll be using ActionScript 3 and very little of it not too much that's the good news. Alright so let me hit the create new ActionScript 3 button right and then guys the first thing that I'll do is I'll change the color of the stage <coughs> sorry to a pound sign triple three triple three and next I'll be dragging out the slider component like so and then guys let me highlight it like so and let me increase the width like this right now let me make sure that it's roughly in the center of the stage and then guys uh, in the component parameters for this slider component I'll make sure that the maximum value is 1 that's because guys the volume always has a value between 0 and 1 and the current value I'll keep at 1 as well as far as the snap interval is concerned I'll keep it at 0 0.01 guys this will ensure the smooth movement along the slider cool so now that I'm done with this uh, you know the component parameters uh, I need to give it an instance name so the instance name uh, that I've chosen for my slider component is SC SC for slider component okay let me change the name of the layer 1 as uh, SC that's slider component and then let me <coughs> insert one more layer I'll call it AS3 for action script 3 that is where I'll be keeping my action script cool and guys the next thing that I need to do is I need to drop in a sound a sound that I'll be playing inside the library so that's a file that's an import import to the library All right and then guys I have a copyright and royalty free sound that will be using uh, that's a tabla tarang sound okay it's in the library now let me play it for you classical music guys whether you like it or not that's uh, the Indian tabla and I think in the background you had the sitar as well so guys this is the sound that I want to use uh, first of all let me decide at what compression ratio should I be playing this now what is compression ratio how do you decide that let's see so I'm gonna go to properties and then guys uh, it's set to default I'm gonna change it to mp3 I'll make sure that it's not converted to mono. I'll also make sure that the bitrate is a little higher at 128. I'll also make sure that the quality is set to best. And then I'm going to say, okay, guys. Okay, now that I've, uh, you know, improved the quality, I'm going to make sure I, I got to drop it out from the library and drop it. <coughs> In fact, before I drop it, let me also create one more layer where I'll, where I'll be, you know, keeping this music. So I'm going to call it music and then I'll be dropping it. Uh, on the first frame of the music layer so let me get it out now and let me leave it on the the this stage okay guys so everything is all set up guys the next thing that I need to do is just manipulate the sound volume using action script 3 so let me dive in straight inside uh, the actions panel okay <coughs> the first thing that I'll do it as I'll attach an event listener to the slider components that's sc.add event listener okay that's a slider event you're pretty pretty used to the mouse event so uh, this is a little different slider event dot thumb drag just the way you have mouse click mouse over mouse out double click we have something called uh, thumb drag when you're dragging the thumb on the sliders all right so thumb underscore drag all caps guys that's the format and then the name of the function I'll call it uh, change wall ch because it'll be responsible for changing the volume okay next guys I'll be defining the function change wall hmm? so that's uh, event colon slider event you need to pass in the event guys in the parents that's again 
the way you have to that's the way you have to use it because that is the format all right it's it's a requirement and then guys inside the curly braces i will be putting in my function but before i actually uh you know create the function or define my function let me create a variable outside the function a global variable i'm going to call it var wall transform of the type sound transform <coughs> right space equals space new sound transform right parent parent semicolon guys i'm creating an instance of the sound transform class now for those who don't know what it actually means sound transform class is the class responsible for two things for manipulating the sound volume that's one and also for the panning the left and the right panning by default the volume is set to one which is full blast and the panning is set to zero which is uh, that the sound will be coming out of the out of both the speakers left and the right is perfectly balanced all right <coughs> so i need to you know create a volume transform wall transform variable i'll be using it inside the function that was uh, why i actually created a global variable uh, global variables are variables that are created outside functions and uh, which can then be used inside the functions cool and even outside the functions of course right so let me start uh, defining my function i'm going to say mm, I'm gonna say wall transform and then use the volume property guys dot volume should be equal to sc dot value now sc is the slider component or whatever the value uh, that you set through the thumb drag on the slider component is the sc dot value right and that value will be uh, between 0 and 1 guys obviously right and then because I'm going to use the sound mixer class sound mixer no camel casing this time guys that's an exception so sound mixer dot uh, sound transform property guys sound transform is a class as well as a property so that's right so I'll make it equal to <coughs> volume transform because volume transform actually holds the intensity of the volume all right so sound mixer class has global control over all sounds that are playing and using the sound transform uh, property i'm making a, it equal to volume uh, wall transform now wall transform through the volume property is actually holding the value of the slider component and so through the sound mixer class ultimately in the end it has decided what should be the volume output all right so guys it's a pretty short code pretty uh, concise uh, compact code uh, a few lines here and there and you are done and you are uh, ready to uh, manipulate the volume through the slider component let me see if i don't have any uh, syntax errors i don't think so it gives me a thumbs up and uh, let me drag the thumb now on the slider component let me first hit control enter to test full volume guys that's a mute so it worked uh, absolutely perfectly just the way i wanted it let me go again control enter wonderful right so guys uh, I've used the slider component and I've dropped a sound onto the stage and using the uh, slider component and the sound mixer class as well as the sound transform class uh, <coughs> using the thumb drag type on the slider component guys I've made a very small compact you know code yet very effective so guys i hope you like this tutorial uh, i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned from it and uh, i'll hope to see you very soon uh, with yet another flash and access to three tutorial you have a very good day guys bye bye peace